everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. Today we're going to be picking up where we left off with chapter 2 of the game, where we were just introduced to some of the characters and their relationships and who they are as people. We can kind of get a feel for what the group is looking like so far. And now we've established this camp after they've all been through a lot. A lot of loss, a lot of moving, a lot of traveling, especially after that boat heist. And now things are looking up. Things are looking up. We got a good leader, we got Dutch, and then we've got Arthur. These seem to be the two focal points of the story thus far. And I'm really excited to see where this episode takes us. Apparently they mentioned that there's like a town nearby and some other things to explore. So I'm guessing this episode's probably gonna be exploration heavy, probably a lot of screaming, maybe some heisting, mostly screaming from my end. <laughs> like running around with a, like a chicken with my head chopped off type deal kind of what I'm getting myself into today I feel like but yeah I've got my coffee as per usual I'm ready for chaos I hope you are too and without further ado let's get into it oh shit here's an animal to supply the camp you can use the meat for food and the skins to craft satchels with increased capacity okay Dude, this is sick. Wait, hold up. And then the mini map and I'm starving. Oh, it's you. This is beautiful. Your beard is getting long. You can use a shaving kit beside your tent or visit a barbershop to maintain your face. Can I just grow it out? Dude, wait, what is happening? Oh my gosh, like the bloom? It's like a misty morning. Ammo, provisions, and health supplies can be found around the camp. The current stock levels are shown when near the tithing box. Oh yeah, because we can upgrade the camp. Dude! Is this just the game? Good morning. Good morning. The stew is currently being prepared. Check again after new- What in the world? Is this just like what the game looks like? a goddamn rainbow can I just go anywhere I can sit on a ledge oh fuck it's a whole rainbow Dude! Ew. Okay, that was gross. Immersion ruined. <laughs> this is amazing. I feel like I'm straight at home. I'm from the south. And like, the audio design, if I close my eyes right now... Like, I feel right at home. The birds, and then, oh my gosh, I just got goosebumps. The mist... This is incredible. Okay, whew, I just needed to take a second. You're telling me this is the game. Like, I can just walk down this mountain and go explore all the way over there. <laughs> well... <laughs> Jesus, dude, wait, what are these ragdoll mechanics in the game? Dude. I am physically mind blown right now. No. Uh. 
No. Yes. What? I just walked. I don't know what I did. What did I... Past the point of no return. They really didn't like that I... Walked off, huh? Didn't talk to a single damn person in the camp. I just wanted to look out here. Wow. Holy shit. Oh my god! Alright, we're gonna go back to camp. I could do this all day. Oh my god! This is insane. Oh, the guitar strings. Karen. Man's coming in. Good to see you back in one piece. I just want to listen. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, step 1. Stop falling. Horseshoe overlook, yeah? $46. Dude, this is freaking insane. I don't know if I'm ever gonna get over this. I definitely didn't in The Witcher. It's like I thought The Witcher couldn't get any better, and then we got to Skellige, and I was like, what? Oh, shit, what is this? I can't read. Duchess speech notes. We lost people dear to us, but we are not lost. If I could throw myself into the ground in their place, I would without a moment's hesitation. I would ten times over, but things don't work like that. We must keep pushing. Are any of you ready to hang up your hats and admit defeat? It isn't time yet to let things wither and die, all those dreams we had. It is not time. Because that is all about... Is, because that is about all we have and about all anyone has. Dreams, faith, courage, ideas. Makes me who I am. That choice is what makes me a man, makes me an angel and not a monkey. So ask yourselves, what is a man? And there you have your answer. Walk like a man who believes in the freedom of his own mind, believes in his God, know there is a heaven or hide up a tree like a God-forsaken monkey. Then say something else about freedom. That quote of Miller's, the whole point of America is freedom, etc. Wow. What a lad. Dutch is just like... The vibes I'm getting from Dutch is that he's just one of those guys that'll charge headfirst into battle and people will follow him. People will just follow him. He's like a... Morning. Antagonize? Don't really feel like we are hidden. This is as hidden as we're gonna get. Unless you wanna live in a cave. I suppose you're right. But I can't tell. I'm gonna be honest. I can't tell... If he's just got charisma, if he's just one of those smooth talker folk, or if he's actually like a natural born leader. Like from the few actions I've seen, he seems to have like earned that position with these people that rep. Seems to have earned that um, credibility with his gang. But I don't know. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. Pomade. Oh! Oh! Oh, 
we can go to 10. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're stashing it up, boys. Yeah, partner. Um. Oh, clothing. All right. The gunslinger. The summer gunslinger. The winter gunslinger. Oh, snap! Hot temperatures. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. I like it. There we go. Look at us. Look at us. What a strapping young lad. Howdy. Arthur. How's the cigar? Not bad. But sometimes I prefer a pipe. I've been meaning to get one for ages. I left the old one in, in black water. I mm. Well, if I find one, you can have it. Well, you are a gentleman, Mr. Morgan. I raised you well. <laughs> oh, don't take too much pride in your work. <laughs> I actually get to go find him one? That's so cool. Just like a little conversation. All I did was walk up to him and say hi, and now I can find him a pipe? That's so cool. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> this is so cool. These people are so awesome. Alive. Play dominoes? Oh god, is this Gwent? The Gwent of the Red Dead World? Things to do, Miss Who play some dominoes? Alright, you twisted my arm. I'm watching you like a hawk, Matthews. What are you insinuating? I am a man of honor. The first to place all your time. Oh, shit! Oh, God! This is a lot of math! A lot of numbers. Put down all your dominoes. 28 unique tiles. 7 draw random. Your remaining dominoes are placed in the bone yard. Place face down in a rack. How many tiles are put out remaining? You can only see the. On their own, the player has drawn the highest double tile with the same number of pips on each side. It begins the game by placing it face up in the middle. If the player has the highest double, the player with the highest value tile will go first. Line of play, other players in turn extend it, selecting the tiles from their hand with matching numbers of the pips on the side, placing the tiles on the board. Next player would name their place the tile with five on the left or one on the right. Mmm, like match it. So if it's a three, you can do a double. Why is this a six? Oh, because it's a three and a six, so you have to keep placing the same. I see. Can't place any of the tiles on the turn. Take a new one from the boneyard. Okay. I I have, for clarification, for anyone that's like, damn, she's never played dominoes before in her life. What is she, under a rock? Yes. First of all, I'm from the Soviet Union. Second of all, I did play dominoes because they had those. <laughs> Former Soviet Union. FSU. Uh, and I played them as a kid, but it has also been decades. So... I'm almost 25. It's been 20 years since I played dominoes. Uh, once it's empty, they pass. Plays go on like this until one player wins the round by downing their last tile. If no player can make a move, then the round is blocked and the winner is the player with the lowest pip count. Huh. So you have to count all the... Winner scores a total pip count for all dominoes the losing player or players have in their hands. Games continue with new rounds until a player reaches the target score of 60. What? Okay. All right. This is a lot. There's a lot of rules. We're just going to play tiles. 
can cheat at anything. Well, that might be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. Oh, it was a block game. Wait. Wait, I didn't look at the rules for block game. Uh... Uh... Okay. Six, five. I mean, am I just playing regular dominoes? Two, five. Two, three. And then three. Oh, we'll go two. Wait. Oh, shit. I don't have a five. I have a three, though. Let's go. And then I got a two at the end. Please don't use my two. Jinky. Hello, baby. Yeah, I got a two. And a one. Ooh, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna play that there. Got the one with the three. I got a one with a blank. Ooh. Oh, this is risky. With a two? Pass. Shit. Pass. Let's hope the Pinkertons don't catch us like this, Arthur. He won the round the least number of... Ah. What? Alright. I'm leaving. This game's a scam. It's a good run. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Yeah. God, the little details in this game. All the rugs and the pallets, and you can sit on so many things. Let's play a game called If I Sits, I Fits. With Arthur, what's his name? Morgan? I think that was his name from yesterday. I sits, I fits. We sat on a ledge. We sat on a box. All the broken bottles. She's humming. This is awesome. Why don't you sit, Arthur? Hi, Mary Beth. Sure. I'll sit you okay? with you any day. Baby girl. You seem kind of worried of course I'm worried what about <sighs> the whole world's changing even I see that now our time is pretty much past they don't want folk like us no more this very rules will be damned with you. No more outlaws. No more killers. Now it's us being hunted. Oh, they ain't stopping. We went and made our choices a long time ago, so... I guess we gotta pay for our sins. Oh, Arthur. What a sad world we live in. Well, I ain't sad, Mary Beth. I'm just realistic about what's coming. I keep thinking I should help folk, but ah, I, I don't know. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. Oh, Mary Beth. No. Knows just how lost he is. I ain't that the truth. I ain't that the truth. You're the only one of these fools who knows. 
Just how lost he is. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? Damn. Sit by the campfire? Oh, God, I'm gonna... No, don't touch it. I can cook, huh? Strip, dip, dip. There was a thing on the bottom right that prompted me. There, oh. there we go. Ah, oh, some plain stringy meat. I've seen my fair share of plain stringy meat. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> ah. Some venison. Does food go bad? I'll cook two. Because I don't know. And I don't want to use all my stuff. Ah! Okay. No! Oh well. Alright. Well. Alright, back. Ew! Exotic bird coffee! Onyx. Ooh. Horse stuff. That's fun. Okay. This is incredible, dude. Hello. Uncle. Ow! Oh, oh, oh. mm. You're about to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. <laughs> While the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying. You're thinking. Lying to try to survive. <laughs> you get to think all day. <laughs> it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. Sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses already. You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> Can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Yeah, I like her. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. That's me. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. It's time for some heisting, ladies. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. All right. Oh, I have to drive. Oh, dear God. Sorry. Beep, beep. Who are those people? Hello. 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 Hello.
Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there. What is that beard? Dude, he's got a mop on his face, dude. I'd really appreciate the help. I'm worried this one here will fall down me too. Go on, Arthur. Whoa! 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 What did I just do? Easy there, easy. easy. Let's see it, Arthur. This is a really pretty horse. Shire. Hello. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It looks like it's straight out of Lord of the Rings. Hello. Hello. And now we steal it. Here you go. Here you go. You heard Honor you level. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, anyway, thank you. Hmm. Honor system. Positive actions will make you more honorable. See? Good thing I didn't kill all the people in the intro. Even though it might bite me in the ass later. Aww. Oh god. Huh. <laughs> I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> wow. Woo! Smell those shit. <laughs> <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> oh, very funny. Damn, dude. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. God, this okay. is so cool. Taking good look around, ladies. See what we got here. I feel like... This is like an out-of-body experience. Like, I feel like I could just let this... Like, I just could step away, let the game go, and it would just play itself. Like, I feel like I'm intruding. I don't even need to be here. These people have their own shit going on. I'm just running around accidentally almost killing horses and falling off mountains. Like a rag doll. Like, this is insane. Go left here, down the main street. There's always on the right. Or you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Bounties? You forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, that's a young man's game. Bounties? Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember. Keep How do I get off? Profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Uh, this is so freaking cool. Park up down the end there, near the state. Can I get a dog? Can I pet that dog? A dog. Look at that dog. All right, here we are, just like I said. Can I pet that dog? Center of civilization. <laughs> no. Man, Uncle, what are we doing? Come here. We're gonna do what any self-respected maniac does. Put the women to work. With Duh. pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, Come just here. stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Come here. Right, I need to get something from the store. Can I put that down? Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. 
So that's how you see yourself. Can I pet the dog first? Maniac. All right, we'll come back to him. Okay. We'll come back. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Yeah. <laughs> Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. <laughs> Toxic. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. You're I love this game. Ringworm, then rats with the plague. <laughs> then you. Then you. Goals. Is the place now. Come All on. I want is to be compared to Ringworm. Never leave persistent and never lets you down. Morning. Dude, this is amazing. God, the fucking posters on the wall and like the wood and like... Oh my gosh, this is insane. The game is only as good as if you can pet the dog. This is facts. You coming? So we'll come back. What do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? <laughs> See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders. No <laughs> you're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Oh, yeah. Old stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Buy some coffee. Top shelf, nearest the door. Some rum? Oh, my... Gosh, this is so cool! I'm fangirling! You can like pick stuff up off the shelf! You're not getting anything, Arthur? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm just geeking right now! You guys know I haven't played a lot of games before, so like this is just blowing my mind! Coffee! I can first, I can POV this coffee? You guys don't know what that is. You're too young. Anyways, I'm buying it. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Corn, some beans, some biscuits. Can I buy a, what's it called? What did I need? A cigar or a pipe or something? Ooh, boots. Hello. Gentlemen. Oh. oh, Wheeler Ross and Consumer Guides. Occasional policy of our house to supply the customer on every aspect of the goods they buy and save them money. Wow. Clothing. <laughs> Outfits. Typical behavior, the vaquero, for those that ride hell for leather. Oh, shit, baby. Okay, we're poor. The Valentine. The Valentine. I like this one. Claremont. The apparel of distinction. Why is it locked? Oh, you can read it, too. The Valentine. Named after the hard-living Midwestern town. All garments are guaranteed exactly as represented. We present to you the leading edge of both work and leisure wear today. The long duster coat. Worsted classic vest. Cotton twill collar over shirt. Heavy grade ranch pants. Square toed plated quick drop boots. And a state boss style hat. Are completed with a pair of sleek leather cavalry gloves. Despair may be picturesque. But when one wears an outfit that conveys misery or grievance. They in are indeed a burden on society. By all accounts the average customer in this line of outfits. Is a man who can exhibit cheerfulness. While enduring crushing sorrow. He is not unlovable, and perhaps not as dashing as a soldier in uniform having returned from wringing the necks of foreigners, but he's close. <laughs> Able to master any machine or animal, he may at times dig into his rucksack and brandish a harmonica, play a lovely tune. <laughs> Dude, this is for me! You look hot while being in despair? That's, that's the dream! What we got for the Claremont? Dude, I'm sold. <clears throat> to alleviate the grinding fatigue of working in dirty, humid, bustling cities and outposts such as Valentine, we offer this custom-made outfit sure to delight on days this mercury is in excess of 90 degrees. With long frock coat, open neck, union suit, and classic vest, it is completed by patterned fancy pants, riding boots, and plantation hat for beating the rays of the sun. It is for the refined working gentleman. Jinx! I'm reading! 
What? <laughs> She's staring at me from down the hall, making eye contact. What? You got something to say? She just stopped and she's staring at me. Anyways, <clears throat> it is for the refined working gentleman who does not often make comparisons of a foe to a drooling invalid and only reaches into his quiver of vulgarities when absolutely necessary. A dapper demeanor is not only pleasing when conducting business, it is necessary in society in order to regulate intercourse among people that society could do without. Yeah, I'm still going with the Valentine, bro. We're saving up $113 for that. Hair tonic. Put it simply, it is the greatest hair tonic on earth. You don't need to be bald. You don't need to be prematurely gray. JJ McClure's Miraculous Tonic intensifies the flow of blood to the hair roots, making hair grow quickly. If you're going prematurely bald, do not resort to contacting a wig or toupee manufacturer. They will all be too willing to sell you something to cover your shame. Instead, use JJ McClure Healing Hair and Beard Tonic and reverse the process of hair falling out, and keep your hair and masculinity the dignified way. If you are plagued with a thin, patchy beard, take this tonic daily, and soon you will realize the full bushy beard worn by scholars, monks, and good lovers. The scalp will be invigorated, dandruff killed, and hair restored naturally to his own proper color and density. J.J. McClure invented his tonic with a special recipe containing exact extract of cedarwood and lavender and is pledged to cure baldness in both men and women, although the beard growing properties are reserved just for the men folk. Life is not worth living under the horrors of hair loss and baldness. McClure Healing Hair and Beard Tonic reduce, restores color as gray hair conveys a loss of youthful vigor and that you are old and slow, unable to process decisions as a young, vibrant person would. J.J. McClure Fortifying Hair Tonic with extract of cedarwood and lavender, this hair tonic <laughs> restores graying hairs to its original color, stimulates hair growth, and leaves the hair and beard looking lustrous and healthy. Wow. Huh. Do not put your dog down simply because you did not order the correct dog remedies. Ah. Cocaine gum. Pomade. <gasps> we can style? Wait, not the cocaine gum. Jesus Christ. Done. Business luncheons courting outside her window singing a hymn or during religious observances. Wow, the three times. Conveniently enough, that's the exact three times I normally style my hair. Business luncheons, courting outside her window, singing a hymn, or during religious observances. This game, dude. Hmm. No pipe, eh? I just want to try it on. Oh, that's not as good as I thought it was. Those pants are way too baggy. I don't look like a scholar. And look, they're like ripped in the back. <laughs> nah. Nah. All right, I'm out of here. Some bourbon, right? Can I buy a lantern? Oh, there's more! Hardly the spring I'd been hoping, on, hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater. No, it's the same one. Is there more? <gasps> there is! Riding out! This is really pretty. I would frame this. It's a cute little sketch. It's cozy. 
Leviticus Cornwall. Seems calm O'Driscoll had the same ideas as us. He's been hiding up here, scouting out a train he wanted to rob. We bumped into some of his boys at some point at some farmstead they was robbing. Found that poor woman whose husband they had murdered, and she's now riding with us as she ain't got no better place to be. Then, Dutch being Dutch and his hatred for Colm being just as powerful as it ever was, a whole bunch of us went to pay him a visit in his camp, but he escaped. Wow. We grabbed one of his boys. Poor bastard ain't spoken yet, but he will once we freeze him a little, then set Bill on him. Been a bad few weeks, but mostly we're mostly still alive. Dutch being Dutch is busy making plans and figuring out just how we're going to survive. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Hmm. Wow! Horseshoe Overlook. Wow! Finally, a thaw in this god-awful weather. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Hosea seems to know the country a little. Ain't been much of a spring, now hold up at a place called Horseshoe Overlook, outside of some dumpy little cattle town named of Valentine. Damn! Dumpy little town! Dutch seems a little better, his eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see his thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier in spite of Blackwater and that whole mess. Wow. Wow. Pocket watch. Gun oil. Hmm. I can also probably sell all my pocket watches to this guy because I've got a lot of shit. Oh, he doesn't accept it. Hmm. Hmm. Let me just see how I can see my... No, not this. My quests. Quest log. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Hmm. <clears throat> Guess I'll just never see my quest. Good health, my sir. <laughs> it's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen. <laughs> good. What? Well. I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was going to rob. Why? Seemed easy. <laughs> I've been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Oh, Excuse God. Me. Bruh. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. <laughs> or what exactly? You wanna find out? Whoa! Whoa! 
Put that away! You're making a big mistake. Where did I get my gun out? Get what the fuck? I ain't doing this with you. Go <laughs> away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. You want to find out? Thanks, Arthur. Jesus. Uncle, look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Hotel. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, so I need to find a pipe for Dutch. Uh, I didn't see one at the general store. Hmm. I thought you said you were going to see about Karen. Are you doing all you can? Huh? Use your... <laughs> Use your strength. Can I help you, sir? Oh my god, why did I just barge through the door like that? I'm not used to these controls, dude. Sir? Hello. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you, uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. 2B. I'm just gonna barge through every door. No trouble now, please. Why is the music so weird? Two alpha. Open it! Open the door! friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Uh. One more. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. In what world? Excuse me. Excuse me. In what world are you like, I'm gonna pretend to be a prostitute, make this guy pay me money, we'll go to the hotel, and then I'm gonna be like, JK. And then just take the money. In what realm... Does that sound like it's going to work? What do you think is going to happen when you get to the hotel? Legitimately. What? There's no hole in that plan. Absolutely no way that could go wrong. What do you think? All right, anyways. Anyone else? Anyone else confused? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. I don't see anything wrong with that plan. I will. Can I rob him? All right. Damn, who's that fine fella looking good? Yeah, look at that booty all cheeked up. Damn. I'm just gonna barge into every hotel room. No. Hmm. She said something about a bank, huh? I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yeah. After you. Yeah. All's well. Ladies first situations. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. What did you think was gonna happen there? You okay? Sure. He only punched me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? 
Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. Oh, snap. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Oh, shit. Yeah. Just stay away. Just following it. You stay away from me. Get back here right now. Oh, shit. Beep, beep. Excuse me. Wait, 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 what was that? Go, 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 go! That's a cliff. Fuck. Aim weapon. Hi, buddy boy. Why are you telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Th then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please, please. Would he be the only witness in Blackwater? I made a mistake. I'm sorry. There's no way he's the. Oh. Shit. Oh. Oh. Well. There goes that. <laughs> Not doing too bad on the honor scale. Hey, we set folks go. They killed anyone that was not. Howdy, partner. I didn't ask for it, you know. I didn't tell. I didn't ask this guy to. Hey, mister. Am I glad to see you? Hi. I didn't ask him. To uh, you got a problem? I'm trying to get the horse back. I didn't ask him to fall off the ledge. You change your mind? I'll be right here. Back up there. How do I give the horse back? Hello? Thanks. Is it this? that oh god are we good are we kosher are you the guy rob hello there mister hello mister
Melee? There's a reason you're staring at me. Alright. Okay, I gave you your horse back, you son of a biscuit. Okay. Skins, meat. All right. We're supposed to go back here. Stranger missions. Saloon. <laughs> I want to do a shot with these people. Pleased to meet you. Oh, well, you just a toughest tick mountain man. Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly. Yes, he's a pussy cat. And that's so worth her. Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Uh, Arthur! Well, I must say. You got a fine way with the women, amigo. Dude! Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man. I dread to think about it. Hey, hey, hey! hey there he is! Watch where you're going! Take it Are easy, you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch Haha, <laughs> both. Oh, oh, my gosh. Oh, it's a bar brawl. What happened? How did it go? It was just a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. It was only a kiss. You fellas are a joke. I'll pick this whole town if I have to. Come on. Oh. Oh my God. Was I supposed to kill these people? Bruh. Come here, you little greaser. Gonna enjoy being you. Yeah, I hit like I die. My God! Pick up my hat. Where's Javi? Where? A hat? Owie! 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 Fuck! Oh god, everyone's now here. Oh my god. Fork! I suck. Fuck! We need to learn to dodge. Here we go. Fuck! No, no, stop it! Fuck! Ah! Fucking shit! Get away from me, you big chungus! God damn, dude! Get the fuck off me! Trucker! Fucking shit! Stop it! God, it's gonna suplex me! Get off me! God damn it! I'm trying! Get him! Get him! Beat! 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 Beat his meat! Wait, maybe not. Okay. Jesus Christ! I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. 
What business is it of yours? My God! <clears throat> no business, sir, but please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not mm. very popular there, it seems. Uh-huh. Ah, Javier and Charles. I missed you. <laughs> And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him. Yes, I have. We've been missing He's him. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater. Oh. But there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. <laughs> Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Ew. I just wanted to get a haircut. That's why I walked into that place in the first place. All I wanted was a gosh darn haircut, bro. Oh, the sunset. This is sick. My God. And my hat, I lost it in the brawl. Oh no. Am I allowed back in the saloon? Probably not, right? Probably not, right? I'm just I'm just here to pick up my hat. Sorry. Don't mean no harm. And maybe a haircut? I know I just fucked all these people up, but I just I honestly just wanted a haircut. Can I, uh... You ain't scared nobody. Mind yourself. Whoa, shit! Can I... Can I... Can... <laughs> okay, alright. I don't think I'm real friendly with these people. I'm just gonna leave. Huh. What do we have here? Why is it all misty? Evening. Evening. Okay, Reap. Hi there, mister. You know when you have one of those days? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Buy a newspaper. We in the papers? Watch yourself. New Hanover Gazette. All right. Read all about it in the Gazette, folks. It's all foggy over here on the mini map. How are you? Howdy. Has to perform. Oh. What are you doing? Oatmeal, pork and beans, squirrel boil, pickled eggs. Uh, I don't remember what really happened at Sylvia's saloon back in '76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. Whoops. It's not bunk, Mr. K Sir, it's history. 
Ancient history, done and dusted. The dead got Who's all your lucky friend to there? Gotta keep suffering. Ha! Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Lucy Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, Let's see it. I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. I <laughs> deify him. He's uh, a god. Uh, I'm trying to uh. write his biography. Well, how's that going? I think I prefer the duel. <laughs> I want to kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me, and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. <laughs> well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win, freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is Forgive awesome. Me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. <laughs> this book, I've got to make a thing of it. And, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger. Flacco Hernandez. Billy Midnight. Black Bell. Never heard of them. <laughs> you can go and speak to them. Oh, I have to Ask go. Ask them about Callaway. He wants me to do his Any job for him? Uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that. But oh, my. Oh, my God. Shoot him. Sad, deluded fools like him. Ask if he was the greatest. And then if they get uppity, <laughs> shoot him. <laughs> does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? These people well, and their plans. Half the proceeds of the book. If you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Half the proceeds. Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Dude. Here are some other flop house. What a random side quest. What in the world? I just walked into a bar and now I'm helping write a biography. What the heck? I guess we're going to help write a biography now, huh? Hello, sir. Hello. 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 Hmm. Fine Dutch a pipe. The noblest of men and a woman. Biographer, okay. Inspect the photographs, okay. Ooh, deer scanned. Okay. So maybe I can go in like my bag and check out the photographs. Okay, we got a woman with a gun. I like it already. Maybelle Elizabeth Coulter, the grand dame of the gunslingers, the dynamite dowager, married six times to six gentlemen, gamblers, robbers, outlaws, everyone, never divorced, dressed, dresses in her widow's weeds, sole remaining survivor of the Coulter Tobin gang, outlawed after robbery in Rhodes, private contract for her life or liberty. Large reward. Last reported sighting near Blue Water Marsh. Do not approach. Too dangerous for mere biographer. <laughs> okay. Blue Water Marsh. You guys got that? Write that down. Blue Water Marsh. Billy Midnight. Ooh, this guy looks ferocious. Born Wilhelm Schnell. The man who killed Rabbit Matthews. Little known about Midnight before killing. Thought to have been Matthew's rifle cleaner and stable boy. Knew Calloway then. Calloway then. Overnight sensation gained national celebrity. Speaking tours then reenacted reenactments from St. Louis to St. Denis, San Fran, etc. Received death threats and suffocate, suffered attempts on his life. Now a recluse save for regular sightings at Rhodes train station. Ask for him there. Blue Water Marsh, Rhodes train station. All right. Oh, this guy. I like that coat. 
Got some drip. Let's see. Flaco Hernandez, the terror of the Grizzlies, wanted in eight states, runs with a gang of at least ten Stone Cold Killers, is that right? Raids into Annisburg, Valentine's Strawberry, and Surrounds. Gazette reports. Hide out. I don't like seeing such things. Ow! What the fuck, dude? I just got run over! Excuse you! Hey, you! Slow up now! Yeah, you... I'll kill you dead. I'll shoot you dead, damn it. Jesus. I've killed people for less. All right, flip. Hide out west of Coulter, deep in Grizzly Mountains. Unlikely conversationalists proceed with... Proceed with caution, don't be dishonest. Okay. I'm writing this down because I'm not going to remember it and I don't feel like looking through all these things again. Grizzly Mountains, Blue Water Marsh, Train Station. Then we got Uno Mas. Después de eso. We got one emer. Okay. Emmett. Dang, this guy. Look at that guy. Emma Granger, pervert, killer, hog fancier, 1882, Beaver Brook Massacre, reported sightings, 1886, laid law, family disappearance, rumors of involvement, 1890, the Chaparral killing suspect, 1894, Foss gang arrest, witness, 1895, federal pardon. Why? At present, keeper of hogs near Flatiron Lake. Interview refused. All right. Flatiron Lake. Sick. I think we're good. Marked on the map with EG. I see that in the top left now. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna finish walking down this town and see what we have down here. Why does it show a locked signpost here? Oh, discover more regions use the stagecoach. Oh, Valentine Station. This is one of the... No. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh my god. Hell nah! We're gonna finish this by the end of the game. I'm not doing that shit right now. I thought this was a right now kind of thing. Okay, that's a no for me, dog. That's a no for me, dog. We'll we'll do that another time. That's way too much work right now. Through here like you own the place. But the O'Driscoll's got designs on it. It's like 300 light years away. Not again. Not again. I actually have no idea where I am. I think this way. See a little gray horse marker. Okay. I need a ticket, please. We'll be starting soon, just inside the tent there. This is so random. What did I just buy a ticket for? Tell 
tell you a morality tale from when our country was young that the settlers used to tell about the woods of Massachusetts and the creatures that lived there. One summer, a bear was by the stream, and old man wind appeared and said, Bear, I shall blow a mighty cold upon the land, and gorge yourself on fish and meat, and go find a den. Then sleep, not for one night, but for sixty. Go tell all the animals of the forest what I have told you. Bear was sad because the fish were his friends, and now... He had to eat them, but he knew to do whatever the wind told him. The animals of the forest often teased Bear and said he was slow and lazy and foolish for listening to old man wind. You're talking to the wind again, eh? Laughed the rabbit. I think Bear has finally taken leave of his senses, said the turtle, and he's getting so rotund that even I could outrun him. Wow. Oh, said rabbit. I'll outrun old man wind if he comes a calling, or you, since you're into eating your friend. <laughs> the turtle said, if wind comes, I'll just hide in my shell. <laughs> then Bear went and warned Coyote and Possum that they should prepare for a long, cold winter. It's so hot, said the Coyote. There's plenty of time. The lazy Possum said, well, there's an abundance of food. Maybe I'll just store some in my pouch. Wow. His girlfriends made fun of Bear. They laughed and laughed and squibbled and squabbled. <laughs> Chunky needs a nap. Fatty Goody Two Shoes does what he's told. Bear was very sad. But he was a good bear, and he always did what Old Man Wind told him. He went and found a den, snuggled inside, and fell fast asleep. Aw, look at that tummy. I can't believe they actually made this for in the game. This is insane. Bear snored and snored for many days. When he woke up, he saw spring had come. He was very hungry, so he walked outside. As the snow melted, he saw all his friends who hadn't listened frozen and just <laughs> ready to be eaten. And that's why the bear hibernates. So wow. To your elders and do just what you're told. What? <laughs> Moral of the story, listen to old people. You get to eat your friends. Got it! Wow. That was good. I think this game is gonna be a nice challenge for me to just slow down. Come again, even better the second time. <laughs> That's what she said. Anyways, just like taking a minute to pause. Like that quest, there's no rush to do the one with the four riders. Or the four uh, gunslingers, you know? And just like pop by, watch a little movie. Like this game is just a whole different vibe. I can't put, put it into words. I can't quite put my finger on it, but it's just different. It's just different. Hello. Hey, now you can't be here. Rob. Hey, you better go and get out of here now. I'm trying. Fine, we'll just go our separate ways then. Okay, you told me to get out and now you're mad. You're hot then you're cold, you're yes then you're no. You better go on get. Okay, I guess we'll go our separate ways. What? <laughs> make it make sense. What does he want from me? Whee! Optional mission is now available. Completing them can be a way to gain honor. Uh... Where? Where the fuck am I? Okay, I'm here. My horse is on a ledge somewhere. Cool, sick. Awesome. Camp is... here. Mm-hmm. I can probably grab my horse, ride back into town for the bounty hunting, 
mission. Oh, it has a little clock by it, probably because it's got uh, operating hours. That makes sense. This is locked. Wonder if that's because they're pissed off at me or if it's just locked. I just want to cut my hair. Um, okay. Hmm. This is so peaceful. Hello. My wild carrot. Oat cakes. Easy, girl. Good horsey. It's a good horsey. Good. Nice. Okay, girl. Good girl. All right, let's go back there and see what this bounty hunting mission is all about. This is... Yeah. Hey there. Rude. I'm gonna greet every single person that I can. Just at the town. What am I running towards? I want to go back to Valentine. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Forty-three degrees. Nice and crispy. Hello. Buddy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, this is locked. Oh, here we go. Good girl. What do we have here? here maybe this is our man you a bounty hunter mister something like that maybe. can be it depends but well, i'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day turn <laughs> yourself in or discuss the finer points of county law <laughs> not quite then i don't need to know much more than that until i got a reason to all right you smell that smells like bitch this here's a livestock town mister <laughs> oh Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. Mm -hmm. You think you can bring him in? 
The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get oh. compensated before he swings. I'm great at lassoing, guys. I got this. I'll see what I can do. Professional. Well, you. That was a good quote. Yeah, we need him alive. That's an important point. Oh, alive. fuck. I got it. You don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. That was a damn good quote right there. I'd put that on a frame. Let's move. All right. This is so cute. Jinx is in my lap right now, and she's just watching the game. Hello, baby. Hello. Oh. What the fuck? You don't know me. All right. As we were. I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Turn it off! Turn it off! Make it stop. Oh, shit. God damn it. I just want a cinematic camera. Autopilot! Cruise control. Damn it. We'll get a hang in this eventually, guys. Uh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. Okay, uh, this way? Whee! Home slice is supposed to be down here somewhere, so. Search the area to locate the target. Should probably get off horse back. Unless this guy's on a horse, and then I'm gonna need to make a speedy escape. I'm gonna stay on horse for now. Oh, is that the guy? I see him. There he is, that son of a biscuit. Give me my lasso. Yeah, baby. How do I get down here, though? Whee! He's never gonna see it coming. Swim, horsey! I don't know if this is the guy. You're good! You're good! You're good! You're good! You're chill, you're chill, you're chill. You're so chill right now. You are so the chillest horse. This might not be him. That was not the target. Okay. Well. Oh, is that the guy? <laughs> Directly up the tro road I was traveling? You're, you mean to tell me? He was right there? Alright. Mm, we're gonna go back. Horse. He was literally right in front of me. Oh god! You're good, you're good, you're good. What is that? Was that an otter? What is that? I'm, my cursor's on it. Is it a bird? Don't know. Alright, anyways. I 
found him. Howdy, partner. Confront. You Benedict Albright? Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. <laughs> no. No. Uh, not me, sir. It's because... I want to buy some medicine, and I heard, uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if, if you could help me find him. It's just my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> what? Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. I'm taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. And there's a price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Come on, partner. That's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Uh-huh. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This... This is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Oh, shit. I'm slipping. Shit. Come here, buddy. Please. Fuck. Come on, dude. Go get him. Go, 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 go. Come on, Roach. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Here. Where the fuck is this guy? I got a cross. Swim to the edge. Oh, shit. Here we go, Get baby. Over to the bank. Look out, the rapids. Hold your breath. <laughs> oh god, there he goes. Jesus Christ, he's zooming. Yeah. Help! Help! Shit. Come here. Come here. Dumbass. Come here. I'm dragging you all the way to town. Come on, buddy boy. Let's go. Kinky. Give me your loot. Give me some of that medicine you've been selling. So I can sell it now. Oh yeah, brother. Alright. We got him, boys. Hogtide passenger will cause them to fall from the back of your horse and most likely drown. Okay. So don't carry a hogtide passenger in water on a horse. Got it. 
r slash oddly specific, but we can do that. We can follow those rules. Whee! All right. That was fun. I'm not going to lie. My adrenaline is kind of spiked. Going after a bounty, carry him to the sheriff's station and drop him in an empty jail cell. My adrenaline is boosted right now. Hit. Shut up. Yeah, I like the power. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I seem to keep blacking out. Oh. <laughs> uh, you do seem to keep blacking out. <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> This isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. <laughs> Who made you judge? <laughs> I'm only in it for the money. Dog. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. We got the dog. Hey, move it already. What's in your head, friend? Hello, what partner. Wrong with you? Excuse me. Pardon me. You got a real problem, haven't you? Excuse me. And pull up right at the sheriff's office. Stop right here. Hitch the horse. And be on our merry way. Go, buddy. All right, where's the jail? Do I just go in the regular way? ruins the moment when I'm doing the cinematic thing, but I'm going the wrong way. All right. Whee! Let's try this again. There we go. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Mm -hmm. uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? In the Holding area? Is that this? Oh, there's been some terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up. Didn't you just offer to sell me drugs to my face? But I told you. But nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Ha ha ha. How much was you offering? Uh, $50. Thank you. That is profitable. Madam. Uh, please, remember what I told you. Fifty doll hairs? Fifty doll hairs? Oh my god, that just doubled our pay. Oh god, let's see the details on this son of a bitch. Stop him from falling off the cliff. That's possible. Hog tie him within one minute and fifteen. Return to the sheriff within one minute. Ah, those are fake. Those are fake. No one can do that. It's fake. It's fake. It's fake. Anyways. Hmm. Okay. 
This is still locked to me. Why? Doctor. I still need to find a pipe for Dutch. You're telling me there's a general store with no pipes? I need to go talk to the people at camp, too. I think my work here is pretty much done. Howdy. Hey there, hey there Hello, partner. Whew, sure is some hard country around these parts. Well, good luck to you. Hope meet again, stranger. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. All right. I think I'm gonna go back to our encampment. Karen, yeah, let's do that. Oh, that's so cool. It marks it on your map for you with like the most efficient routing. That's sick. Hey, oh, sorry. Hey, Excuse me. way. Yeah, we haven't done anything in the camp yet. <laughs> yep. Hello. Whoops. Oh god, cinematic mode. All right. Nope. Nope. Oh, Jesus Christ. go hi oh go hunting hi Arston. yeah Arthur there she is. For what now, huh? Hey, Arthur. Hi. Hey, so that feller who was hassling you in Valentine. I'll tell you another time, okay? Oh, can I use my pomade now? Ooh, look at that suave. Damn. Look at me. Animals to supply the camp, you can use meat and skins for satchels. Okay, I think I'm gonna go hunting next, but I'm gonna walk around first for a second. Mm-hmm. Hey, Arthur! What you want? <laughs> you want sour, son of a bitch, ain't you? <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Only when I see you. <laughs> Give money. Twenty bucks. Um. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Ooh, can I eat some of this stew? Donate. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Ah. A bunch of That's all I got for you. Meat. Feathers? Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. All right. Mr. Morgan, bring me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice. Ah. Huh. Increases the carrying capacity for all types of tonics from shop. Purchase leather working tools, upgrade the medicine wagon twice. Five animal carcasses, valuables, leather. 
I need to buy the leather working tools regardless, it looks like. $50 to the tithings box. We're already at 20. Hmm. Ew, it's got like a lizard on it. My lodging. <laughs> What? I can get a rug for all the bitches I bring over? You guys know, the number one thing gets the ladies going is an animal rug in the house. Huh. Okay. I see what we're doing here. I'm not into any of this. Yet. Hello, child. So you like the new camp, Jack? Sure. It's fine. It'll do us for now. This guy? Oh. Speak to them for me. No. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa! Hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing. They, they ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse while. Horseshit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you <sighs> tell the truth? Damn. That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on. Ah, uh, <laughs> who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Huh? Geld him. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, what? Unix was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? A court. You sick bastards! Oh, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll is holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at Six Point Cabin. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you. No offense. <laughs> okay, then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. Uh, I ain't no old... Throwing knife. What? This goal. Are you sure as shit was? John, Phil, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Yeah. Sure. You gonna know, pay your buddies our respect. That was my horse. He taking us to Cone? That's what he says. Come on. No, it wasn't. This is my horse. Look, I'll, I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right. I'll leave. All right. We riding? <laughs> Let's go. I'm following y'all. We going? Well, come on then. Hello? Where are you going? This ain't the way. What? Let's go if we're gonna go. Why is this horse lit up? Get back on your horse. Don't 
Don't tell me this is gonna fix it. What was that, huh? Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? Okay. How many times I gotta say, I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one, and you smell like. God damn. <laughs> you smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might... I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me? <laughs> hiding it somewhere. Makes sense. When the opportunity comes up to mention it, last goddamn favor I do you. Hey, hey. If I got my bearings, it's over here. How much are we trusting this guy right now? Yeah, I know this country. What if he's leading us into an ambush? Morgan, you didn't tell me what the old Driscoll smelled like before you asked me to ride with him. Ha <laughs> ha. Because you wasn't asked to ride with us. You was told. Why don't you try going straight? Hello? I smell like a stall ain't been cleaned out in a month. I smell like that because you had me tied up there about as long. You'd yep. be smelling worse if we'd done what someone was arguing for. Granted, granted, I was in with a bad lot. I'm trying to make amends if I can. Mm. You don't know the half. I do know Combe killed Dutch's sweetheart. And that's the man you chose to ride with. A woman killer. Well, it was after he killed, killed the brother. brother. Yeah. The way I understood it, the... Making excuses for the man and his crimes. What kind of trap you lead us into, boy? That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to help, honest. One thing goes wrong. One thing other than you smelling funny, you're the first O'Driscoll will shoot. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. He sounds sus. I mean, I, I don't understand the beef. Like, I do, but it's like they're playing the Spider-Man pointing meme for. game. It's like, well, you we killed my brother. Boys. Well, you killed my girl. You all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. Right? What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and, uh... We're probably all the same. To a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the old Driscolls. Right. Maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law. Nature. You're out for yourselves. See? This is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live. Free. Are we? He's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. Uh-huh. Where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on. The worst thing that people want to hear is the truth. Who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is... And Colm O'Driscoll's hair, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Wouldn't that be something? Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. <laughs> okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as we find them. Trying not to set things off. But if we do... We move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. The music. Why are you getting off? I did not mean to press E. Hey, we're real close. Whoops. The other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. Whoa. This is it. 
The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Tab. Off your horses. Let's go. Problems running your horse, pressing tab, went on your horse, stealthy approach, select silent weapons for like a bow or throwing knives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You gonna get them knives. I said easy. There we go. Hold! Follow me, alright? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Damn. Jeez. The only worse thing worse than dying is losing your balls and dying. At the same time. Okay, get down. The cabin's hmm. in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you strangers? Yup. And call him Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The fellow that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm gonna drain it. I I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Mm. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. We're gonna deal with this first fella. Okay. Go to work. Don't move. Can I just use a bow? Why do I have to use a throwing knife? Can I stealth kill him? Here we go, baby. You go. Take him quiet, Marston. Okay. Get your hands dirty for a change. Jesus. Oh my god! He hit him with the triple stab! Stab, stab, stab. Why did he triple stab? What's wrong with this fellow? Are you okay? Can you talk? Jesus Christ. What's the call? Time to move on. You ready? As I'll ever be. There's also this guy. Fucking shit. God fucking. Huh. 
Okay. Now what? We're at the crib. <laughs> God damn it. It's off. We move quick. We move hard. This is quite a hideout. Now you drunk idiots. Run it hard if you know what's good for you. We got it. Back to the cabin. Let's make a stand. Come on, then. Where the fuck is this guy? Suck my toe! Fuck yeah, dude. Combs be in the cabin. I'll check. You look out here. Now, what you stashing in here? Amazing. That was so fun. What do you hold to know, Driscoll? You said you was looking for Colm. You, he'll be in the cabin. Yeah, 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 I'm helping loot. I'll take what I can get. All the details. So much food and camp stuff. Might have something on him. You ain't gonna check the cabin. I will. Oh my god. Fine! Fine! I'm going! Jesus! So pushy. All righty. Oh my god. You all right? Sure. Thank you. He just saved my life. Como Drisco. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here. What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come you just saved your life. He was here, I swear. I, what? I, I, if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have <laughs> saved your life. That's what I'm saying. Good point, Arthur. Why would he save his life and go through the effort of killing all these dudes that would be on his side? All right, then. Go on. Get out of here. Go on, get... I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. Get lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away now. Go on, get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. Why so, can't we just take him in? So I'm one of you now. Mm-hmm. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. <laughs> Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. <laughs> quick. See, Arthur? I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. Yeah, right, you are. Okay. Money, money, money. Money. Yeah. There we go. Some good shit. Mm-hmm.
Come on. Canned strawberries, that's a sight. Ginseng elixir. Alright. Oh, shit. <gasps> Double barrel shotgun. That's what I needed in my life. This weapon is dirty. Oh. Gun oil, huh? Alright. At least you got something tucked away. Six hundred buckaroonies! Three hundred for gang share. Dude! What? Well, that was successful. I feel like we're done here. We've done a lot today. This is probably a good place to stop. Well, that was a busy day if I've ever had one. <laughs> Honestly, we started the day by just embracing the game, walking around, looking at all the things, getting to know our surroundings, and damn, are they nice. Damn, are they nice. And then committing petty crimes around town the hotel thing, and then stealing a horse, and then doing a bounty, our first bounty, and then tracking down these guys and stealing their money, which hopefully we don't get in trouble for. I don't really know how that works. Accidentally letting a guy fall off a cliff. It's been a, it's been quite a packed day. Once again, I'm feeling accomplished. It's, it's a tough day. It's a tough time. I'm going to have to go relax after this tough day of working out in the west you know <laughs> but yeah i have a feeling that's kind of how this game is gonna go i'm gonna have to take it in medium doses not small doses exactly because it really is immersive you just sit down and i feel like i could just sit here and play this game for like 10 hours and it would just fly by which is a beautiful and terrifying thing at the exact same time so it is awesome i'm loving it i hope you're loving it too and i'll see you guys in the next episode see ya